I have little ammo for this gun, which is not surprising, and fuck that. Yep, I'm not going that way. Wow, look at that. Look what's doing to the screen. That must be hot. I mean, it's lava, obviously, and it's broke my legs. Oh. Does it hurt? I mean, it's standing on top of it. Yep, yep, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts. It's not looting, it's not stealing, it's looting. Two different things. These people don't need it, they got a leak. Hey guys, here Redemption 9 and welcome back to Outer Worlds. Today we're going to explore a bit more of Edgewater and see who we can come across. So uh, yeah, let's uh, get exploring instead of doing quests. Because quests, while fun, they don't give us much. Oh my god. Where's this place? Where's this place? They start asking you for some medicine. Come tell me. I'll set them straight. Oh my god, all of you people Hello? At least I paid my gravesite. Man, this place is nice. Very nice. Place is crawling with sprats, man. The fuck? Right, okay. Sick resident. Sick resident. Dead resident. Mechanical sentry. Dead person? A lot of dead people in here. And you're the only one alive. Hello. I appreciate the company and all, but you really ought to leave. You don't want to be seen around me. I go where I want, love. Hey, keep it down. That kind of talk's bound to put sights on the both of us. I'm in about as much trouble as I can be. No reason you ought to be tarnished by association. People are going to talk. You make it sound like I'm being watched. The walls talk is all. We all got sights on each other. Any of us breaks company protocol. Boss is going to hear about it from six different mouths. Maybe you don't know this, but there's a real simple reason you don't talk to the plagued. You don't want what we've got. I can take uh, a look at you if you want. Don't. Please. I could get into a lot of trouble. What kind of trouble? People trouble. Lazy worker like me getting special treatment from some out-of-town physiker like you. People will talk. Company always tells us weak spirits lead to weak bodies. If I didn't want to fall sick with plague, maybe I should have worked harder. Maybe I should have taken more pride in my work. That's not how it works. That's not how it's supposed to work. The harder you work, the more sick you get. That's how it works. I got some Adrena time. If you, it's yours, if you want it. You've got Adrena time. How? No, I don't want to know. Could be you stole it. Could be you're trying to test me. See if I'm going to violate company policy. I'm feeling a touch faint. If you don't mind, I'd like to be alone for a spell. Bye. Can I do you again? I don't want any. Fine. Fine. Hey, one of them asked me for medicine. Spacer's choice takes care of its own. No, okay, fuck you. Resident, resident. I'm looking for people this time, not named loot. Or loot. I'm not allowed in here. Not since the vending machine incident. Oh yeah, what happened? Yeah. You mean why I'm not allowed in the store anymore? Yeah, what happened? There was a, a kind of a thing with a vending machine when I was 12. You were a kid. That must have been forever ago. Sure, but folks got long memories around here. I've always been good with my hands, right? So I saw a lock on the machine and thought, oh, this must be how they refill it. But I had to know. So I did my thing. And next thing I know, there's a couple hundred bottles of zero G rolling out the front door and into the road. Haha, <laughs> lol. It's not funny. Right about then, a bunch of loaders came rolling in the gate, fresh off the Saltuna ships. 
And Mr. Thompson was up on the porch making a speech about how everyone would have to volunteer a third shift to get it all canned. Anyhow, you ever seen an auto loader run over a bottle of zero G? Go on. Exploded all over Mr. Thompson. One bottle after another as the loaders went by. I was just shy of working age, so Dad had to pay all the damages. Rose still angry at me. I can laugh about it now, but I just about puked up my guts in terror in the moment. That's the one time I ever made Mr. Thompson look a fool. Interesting. Very interesting. Is this... I hate you, vending machine. Still not working. Oh my god. Hello. Miss Holcomb ain't allowed in this establishment. Not since that little incident. That was a long time ago. Uh, I'll take responsibility. See that you do. I got a business to run. Edgewater ain't gonna provision itself, you know. I won't touch anything while we're in here, Mr. Moreau. I promise. I got some questions for you. Go right ahead. What's your take on this, please? What? You mean Edgewater? That's a peculiar question. This a test. Am I being tested right now? It's, a uh, fine and dandy. Couldn't be happier. Wouldn't want to spend my life working anywhere else. Prettiest little town on Terra 2. So we're on Terra 2. This is that planet. Okay. Turn yourself. Won't make it true. You are condescending to me, and I do not care for it. I am lucky to have my work. Lucky to be alive. I don't get paid for banter. Was there something you needed? Yep. Go right ahead. Anyone I should watch out for? Other than yourself? Definitely the vicar. Don't get me wrong. He seems a decent man. Cut from church cloth. Knows his scriptures. But there's something about him that bothers me. Like he's not one of us. Sometimes I suspect he doesn't even want to be here. Ah. Oh. So this plague. Plague? I don't know anything about a plague. We are the very picture of hot-blooded physical vigor. Is there a reason you feel like you have to hide what's going on? You have got the wrong idea about me. I've got nothing that needs hiding. Uh -huh. Some of us who get sick are liable to exaggerate the conditions of that sickness. But the fact is, if you work hard, you have got no cause to worry. Yeah, Spacer's Choice obviously cares about its family. Spacer's Choice is built on love. And like any real love, it is cold and tough when needs must. Medical treatment is commensurate with our value to society. Spacer's Choice will dispense medicine for the indispensable worker. Natural selection at work. And if you don't work hard enough? Then the hand of medical science will not grace you with its touch. And you must recover on the virtue of your own grit. Listen, you mind if we talk about something else? Rambling about company policy gets me feeling all lightheaded. Oh, okay, you don't want to answer the questions, do you? Right ahead. Just cause that guy was a dick. He did. Now that's why I saved, so we redoed. How's it going, mate? Not the best choice. It's Got some questions for you. Go right ahead. No, I don't, apparently. How you doing? Are you doing fine? Yeah. Not not dead or anything? That's good. I didn't kill you. Totally didn't kill you. Right, I got a quest to hand in, haven't I? Uh, turn to the vicar. Hey, Mr. Vicar, here we go. Is there anyone else who has a name in this church? Resident. Resident. Hey Resident. There, Mary. Don't see you round here too often. Oh, I just came to talk to the vicar, is all. Yeah. Okay. Hey, hey, vicar, how's it hanging? Any progress on that matter we discussed? Yep, it's right here. Wonderful. This is fantastic. Well worth all the sacrifices I... Wait. What the fuck is this? Is this... French? I can't fucking read French. Language? It's a law-forsaken joke is what it is. French. Ha! I was so high and mighty, preaching to the yokels about following the plan, while fighting it at every turn. You wanted it for yourself, you greedy bastard. Well, uh, yes. But I assure you, it was not for personal gain, only for the greater good. 
I've spent my life searching for the keys to unlocking the secrets of the universal equation that underlies the plan. I had hoped this book held some of those answers. I became so desperate, I even got myself assigned to this plague-ridden backwater to find the damn thing. All the time and suffering I've spent. Wasted. Uh, why did you think the book held the secrets you were looking for? Bokonu, the author, had some interesting theories about man's perception of reality that I thought could be applied to our attempts to decipher the plan. Unfortunately, he was also one of the founders of the Philosophist School of Thought, so the book is banned in this colony. A Vic is searching for a banned book, so that's a bad example, doesn't it? The story of my life. Most lay people are not aware of this, but we've not discovered any new insights into the plan for a long, long time. I had an idea that we should welcome the truth, no matter where we found it. I had the worst idea to share my thoughts with a superior. And that's how I ended up assigned prison duty, where I was fool enough to let an inmate bend my ear with stories of an original Bokonu journal. You mentioned something called a philosophist. What's that? Because I obviously don't know. Philosophism's a false religion that stands in contradiction to almost everything we know to be true. They believe all is chaos, in stark contrast to OSI's belief in the plan. But most of the philosophist perversion of Bakonu's thoughts came more than a century after his death. But that's neither here nor there. What I need to do now is to find a translator, obviously. But to do that, I'll first need to secure transport. You have a ship. Perhaps I could make myself of use to your crew. Uh, how do you know I have a ship? Did I tell you that? Could be a beneficial arrangement. You need to ride out of town, I wouldn't mind a ship hand. Certainly. I already gave you most of my money, but I can offer you free spiritual counseling, and I'd be happy to watch your back. I'm pretty handy with a toss ball stick, or any blunt instrument really. I'm also a passable gun hand if it comes to that. I can usually talk my way out of conflict, though. Oh, uh, I'm fairly competent at hacking computers as well. Spiritual can Are you even a real vicar? Of course. I'm a vicar who is dedicated to his calling. More dedicated than any other you'll find in this colony. I joined the OSI to help decipher the grand plan. But instead, I ended up the vicar in a prison due to ignorance and politics. Then I came here. Satisfied? I've already got a companion. I know you can take multiple, but I don't want you. Oh, you can come with me, though. Have reconsidered? I'd be quite valuable to have with you. I mean, I'll, I'll take you. But I don't want you right now. If that makes sense. Because Pravati is a good companion at the minute. Yeah, huh? Yeah, exactly. You're a good companion. Even though you don't do much. Resident. Corporate trooper. I'm looking for people with a name. I've got early missions in this place. Stop auto opening, man. Right, so there's one in the cannery. One over there. Two over there. Okay. Nothing back there, okay. I'm looking for people with names. Do you know? Oh, hello. Somebody's been running around town raving about a colony ship. Plague must have gone into their brain matter. Yeah, that was me, sorry. Oh, I'm an actuary. That means I keep tabs on a worker's living expenses. How much it costs to feed, clothe, shelter, bury, and replace your average human worker. Technically, I'm employed by the Spacer's Choice Department of Human Resources. Okay, bye. Corporate Trooper. Right, so I've been to that side. Oh, what's this? Yes, Mr. Thompson. I'm fine with you. Never been healthier. Don't mind me, just being nosy. Right, Abernathy, you owe me money. Well, uh, did, uh, did Mr. Thompson send you? Well, you tell Mr. Thompson I'll be right at my post, tomorrow. Uh, bright and early tomorrow, because I'm definitely not plagued. 
As spry as a spring chicken. <laughs> That's old Abernathy. You want to tell me what's got you so nervous? You some sort of wandering alienist? Walking into a man's own domicile, pestering him about his mental state? I'm here to collect your graveside fees. Silas knows, doesn't he? That's why he sent you. That's why he wants me to pay up. He knows. He told me everything. Sounds like he's already told you. You may as well hear it from me. I'm dying. I'm not long for this world. The date of my expiration is fast approaching. And soon I shall be ushered through the great cannery in the skies. Don't say that, Mr. Abernathy. You still got a couple decades in you? I'd steer clear, Ms. Holcomb. My affliction's bound to be contagious. It's plague. Has to be. Silas knows. He knows I got one foot in my grave and now he wants to charge me for the other one. You're being paranoid. I am? Law, help me. Paranoia is one of the plague's known symptoms. Shit. I'll pay your fees. I don't want any trouble from Silas. But if you could see a way to freelancing for me, I could really use the help. Uh, depends on what you need. A couple hours out of your day and some light second story work. That's all. There's a cache of anthracillin tucked away in the old community center. Powerful stuff. I've already got it. Stronger than what we got, anyway. I need you to break in, nab that medicine, and bring it back to me. You mean this medicine? You've been there already? And you ain't been ground down into marauder meat? Let's see it. Don't keep us waiting. Um, I haven't decided what I'm doing with it yet. Yeah, it's all yours. Fine, you can have it. Sweet life given nostrum. The first hit's always the best. Scratch together all the bits I had around the domicile. It ain't as much as you deserve, but it's all I got. I risk my life to save yours, Abernathy. You're wringing the blood out of me. Here, you can have whatever's in my pockets. Boy, got anything else? Nothing like a good hit of anthracillin. Feels like warm, liquid sunlight running through your veins. Take an awful risk trust to me, you know. I know that, but I got nobody else to turn to. Reed would have wrote me up. Constable would have locked me up and wrote me up. Could have gone to see the good vicar, but I never did find my courage. Fair enough. I'm such a good person in this game. Apart from that time where I didn't kill the shopkeeper. But yeah. Be so good. Right. Constable Rees. Hello. Welcome to the Spacer's Choice Constabulary. We are Halcyon's leading brand in Frontier Justice. The office is writing a promotion. Purchase three criminal investigations and the fourth one's free. Okay. If you need help, I'm fire. As a Spacer's Choice Constable, I am authorized to grant you legal authority toward apprehending wanted criminals. Know how to carry yourself in a fight? I've got bounties out for these three marauders. Cross them off and bring me their fingers. Just one per marauder, please. I'll dust off the old fingerprint roller. I can do it. Got some questions, though. As long as your questions fall within the acceptable margins of curiosity. Does the name Phineas Wellis mean anything to you? His likeness decorates many a wanted poster. Do you have any relevant information about this individual? Um. Looks like there's a bounty on his head. You are correct. An outstanding bounty has been posted for information pertaining to the whereabouts of Phineas B. Wells. He's a scientist we're acquainted. Uh, how much? Unfortunately, the arrest of Mr. Wells falls outside my authority. I enforce the company policy as Facer's choice in the region of Emerald Vale. Wells is wanted by the board. If you have information related to the location of Phineas B. Wells, you are required to submit that information to your nearest board authority. I assumed you were my nearest. I represent Spacer's Choice. Spacer's Choice is a wholly owned subsidiary of Universal Defense Logistics, which is itself a member of the Halcyon Holdings Corporation Board. Also, I specialize in processing fingerprints, so unless you're carrying Wells' finger on you, there's not a lot I can do for you. Fair enough, so who do I need to talk to? Any information regarding outstanding bounties and wanted criminals should be directed to Mr. Udom Bedford. Mr. Bedford's office is located on the Groundbreaker. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Halcyon's original colony ship, now repurposed into a space station. Mr. Udom Bedford represents the board's interest on the Groundbreaker. Something else I can do for you? 
I think I've got more questions. As long as your questions fall within the acceptable Okay, yeah, I've got. Uh, who do you work for? If this is a setup to a joke, you should know I've never found anything amusing in my life. I don't serve Edgewater. Edgewater and the entire region of Emerald Vale serve Spacer's Choice. Who does Spacer's Choice answer to? Spacer's Choice is a wholly owned subsidiary of Universal Defense Logistics, which occupies a seat on the Halcyon Holdings Corporation. Yeah, I knew what that was coming. Also known as the board. I must admit it bothers me that you don't already know this. So you're basically a bureaucrat. Flattery won't get you anywhere with me. The bureaucracy is a noble profession, but not all of us are gifted enough to serve in it. There was one other thing. Something to report? Yeah, boy. Ooh. Open close panels. Really, there's nothing there? Open? Yeah, okay, I'll find them. Try at least. Hey. Yeah. Bye. Just wanted to know if you had to say anything. Wasn't there someone in this room? This is where the magic happens. Well, science. But it still happens. I like having you around. It gives me someone to talk to. Where are we headed? Oh. I thought I could talk to you about this place. But you're just like everyone else. Boring. Quiet. You don't want to speak to me. Is there anyone... Is this your house? Am I in your house right now? Ooh. Hungry, I could open up a can of something. Yeah. Stop talking unless I can actually speak to you. So this this must be your house, right? I'm gonna loot your house. You know that. What loot do you have in your house, love? Cause I'm gonna take it all. Cause your house is now mine. Oh, toss ball blocker. Why is everything upstairs? Why you got so much stuff? No, I don't want to shoot hey, anything. I mean, if you need it, okay. You got a problem with me looting? Look, I need this stuff more than you, because you're coming with me. Yeah, huh? Yeah. Didn't think you had a problem. My dad's... It's an office. Just my office. Yeah? Taking it. It's all mine now. What's this? Indomati? What does that do? What did it do? The frightened engineer. Ah, oh, okay. Fair enough. I'm just looking around. Just looting. Oh, you like flowers? I can't find many kinds around here. Do you want flowers? I know where there's some flowers. It's called a uh, greenhouse, botanical garden, or whatever it's called. Where are we headed? Around. Oh my God! You got a balcony. Why they stare? Yeah. Huh? Look, I want to speak to you, not just one-way conversation. You what? I mean, you can come in and watch if you want. I could just stand. I could just stand here and do it. Could also have a shower as well. My God, it started already. I started being a pervert. What's around here? Who's that? Oh, can't go in these. I think I've met everyone then. I must have met everyone. Yeah, right, so. Uh, right, everyone seems to be in here now. 
Hello? You're above me. Hello? I need to speak with you. Hello? You're going to die? You the new worker? Whatever. Make it quick, tenderfoot. I'm busy. Gravesite fees. I'm here to collect, bitch. Shit. Silas still on about that. Here, take the fees. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell Reed I was late on my payment. These papers aren't signed in your name. Because they're not my fees and not my gravesite. Guy I worked with shot himself. I paid the bill. You have to pay for your neighbor's gravesite fees? If you're not familiar with board law, you ought to be. Law requires delinquent gravesite fees to be paid by the deceased party's closest living relative, which meant me. Shame, though. Eugene was a good worker. Oh, Eugene. Oh, my God. This place just gets worse. The amount of... Ugh, the policies are so bad. Woke up one morning and put a round through his upper story. Can't imagine why. The kid was doing all right at his desk. We all thought he was an upstanding receptionist. Just between the two of us, I'm pretty shocked his weapon didn't misfire. Spacer's choice handguns aren't the most reliable. That's an awful thing to say. Not half as awful as the bill Eugene left us with. Suicide's a crime. The legal term is irreparable damage to company property. What Eugene did to himself was vandalism. The fuck? What are you gonna do, arrest his corpse? When one of your workers commits a crime, the entire town pays for it. In other words, Edgewater would have been penalized pretty hard. Whatever Eugene was worth as an asset, we would have had to pay out of pocket to Spacer's choice. He was a person, not an asset. What the fuck is wrong with this? Well, excuse you. I'll have you know, Eugene was an asset to us all. May his Adams be commended to the law. All I know is Silas asked me for Eugene's gravesite fees. Which means he was approved for burial. Which means his papers went through. Which means the town's in the clear. I'm just glad to put this whole ugly affair behind me. Eugene can rest his bones in peace, and the rest of us can get on with our own lives. Okay. Anything Somebody's else? Somebody's been spinning a tale about a lost colony ship. Talk like that'll get you reported real quick. Yeah, that was me. I'd like to talk to you about Eugene. I paid his burial fees, didn't I? Let the dead sleep. Well, obviously corporate doesn't want that. I found your letter to Conrad. Didn't anyone ever tell you not to go rifling through other people's correspondence? You were planning on stealing you didn't go teeth. Excuse you. Eugene's body and all rare earth minerals contained therein already belong to Spacer's Choice. And we're all part of the Spacer's Choice family here. Never mind. I don't have to explain myself to you. Yes, you do. I'm from the board. What's on your mind? I'm, the, uh, I'm guessing you're the foreman? Foreman Granger. Mind those words don't come out of your mouth unless preceded by yes or right away or thank you. Okay. Fuck you. How about that? Hello. Where are we headed? We are headed to get uh, return to silence. Okay. We are headed in here. Anything? Oh. No, we're not heading in here actually. Messages from. Okay. Return personal files. Hack. Oh. Continue. Okay. Can't say that. Damn it. Hello. What's on your mind? Bye bye. I mean, fuck you. What's in here? Ooh. Continue. Return. Okay. Stealing. Boom. Hello. Where are we headed? No? Okay. Uh, I don't know. What have we got now? Where are they? Okay, they're outside. That's nice. He's outside. He's outside. Where's that? Oh! So that's on a different planet, probably. Oh. Ooh. 
Nailed it. But it's stealing. Right, is there anyone else in here that I can speak to? I didn't mean to do that. Didn't mean to do that. Didn't mean it. Didn't mean it. Anyone? Hello? What's this? Nothing? Okay. Doesn't this have a part that I need? I don't know. Man, okay, I, don't know. I just don't know. What's this? The fuck's going on in here? Severed at the wrist. Vending machine. I would loot, but it's stealing. Blue slips, pink slips, barred. God damn it. What's this? Bogs. What's down? Ooh. Why is it stealing if it's in a bin? The fuck is this? Hello? Is anyone in here? I don't see anyone. I see some machines though. Oh. I should... I don't know if I should be taking them. That's the thing. Ah, oh, I don't know. I just don't know. But we need to... The main quest is basically the same thing as on two different quests. Hmm, interesting. Very interesting. Does this open? Oh, this opens. That is cool. I like that. Right, so we have to go outside no matter where we do. Actually, can we go and speak to this guy again? Oh my god, hello. Something. I need to go, come on. Cup of card, cup of card. No one else in here. Ooh. Key card. Hey. If you could see your way to getting us our power back, I'd appreciate it. I want to tell you about something. Go ahead. Have you taken a look around your town lately? It is my job to keep two eyes on my town. I am the steward of this place, and this is my watch post. How long have you worked here? I'm trying to remember 25 years, 26. When you get to my age, the years just rush by. You stop counting altogether. I remember looking out this window and seeing the veil spread out from horizon to horizon. We were a sprawling town. We were booming. Times change. People change. But the veil will always be here. Spacer's choice will always be here. Our work won't ever end. I take comfort in that. You're loyal to Spacer's Choice. This is a Spacer's Choice town. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family here. The company keeps us warm, keeps us fed, keeps us working. Loyalty's got nothing to do with it, friend. This is good old-fashioned gratitude. Your town is falling to bits, mate. I wish you wouldn't say things like that. Does it make it any less true? I expect you wouldn't understand. You don't see the town as I do. When I stand at my window and look out over my town, here's what I see. I see decent, loyal, hard-working people. I see a family. We are all part of the Spacer's Choice family. We are all doing what we were brought into this world to do. You got a wrong mindset. Let me ask you something else. Go ahead. What makes you think I can the words? What makes you think I can convince these deserters to come back? That you are not one of us may work to your advantage. Adelaide and her folk loathed the people of Edgewater, you see. I admit the fault was mine. I'm about as diplomatic as a bristling canid. I just hope Adelaide and her folk will see their way past my flaws and return to town. Sometimes people move on, though. It's the way of things. Scripture tells us we all have our purpose in the world. Our work shows us that purpose. We should not have to move on from it. Yes, we have lost good workers to desertion. 
We have lost even more to play, but it is why we must square our shoulders and carry on. You and Adelaide have personal history? Losing Adelaide was the hardest. She was our only flavor specialist. When she walked away, I knew we were in trouble. Spacer's Choice Saltuna is renowned across the system for its quality flavors and additives. We used to sell citrus-flavored Saltuna in our heyday. Ever since Adelaide left, we have been reduced to selling unflavored and spearmint. Oh, let me ask you something else. Go ahead. You seem pretty fixed on bringing Adelaide back to town. Adelaide was our only flavor specialist. We are a Saltuna canning institution. Saltuna without flavor is like a cysty pig without tumors. Borderline inedible. That is disgusting. Don't you people eat anything other than Saltuna? Word up to me, friend. I'd stack our larders with Saltuna galore. No other brand of Saltuna adds as much vim or vigor to the body's humors. But, and wow. this is something we must keep between the two of us. Saltuna is hard to come by. What with being a species indigenous to the seas of another world. So what are you canning? Oh, we've scavenged together some organic material from the surrounding environs. Mostly organic, mostly local mushrooms. Some of which possess a texture akin to a well-boiled slab of Saltuna. The difference is all but impossible to detect to any but the prissiest of palate. Oh, okay. Something else? We need to have a word about this plague. Can we not? Talking about unpleasant things always gets my bile up. How long has it been happening? That I cannot say. There was no moment when the plagues began. Disease always lurks on the fringes of society, waiting to infect the idle and the lethargic. But in the last ten years, the plagues have become progressively worse and increasingly frequent. Yeah, you should have uh, immunity. Corporate doesn't like us using the word should. It encourages the imagination. I believe plague is a test. It is a test of our loyalty and our fortitude. And it is one we will see through to the end. You withhold medicine from your own workers. If I had enough medicine to treat everyone who fell sick, I would. But I don't. I can't save everyone. So I have to choose. I mean... It's not really monstrous because he can't, well, he probably, I don't know, is he lying to me? Can't be easy for him if he has limited resources and, like, if he has 50 people and 25 resources, can't be easy. It is not easy for me. And the moment it becomes easy is the moment I am no longer fit to serve. Spacer's choice is a family. Yeah, okay, Spacer something right? else? Go ahead. Uh, okay, bye. I don't know. It, I, I was totally again, oh my god, hello again. I was totally for shutting this place down. But it's, it's difficult, it's a difficult moral choice I'm faced with. God, I'll finish off those side quests and then we'll make the big moral choice. But I think here is a good place to end this episode. We're at a long time now. So, uh, yeah, that's it for this episode. And I'll see you guys next time for more Outer Worlds. Bye. Well, there's gonna be trouble. What? Are you gonna beat me up? Fuck you. Ah. Oh. oh yeah. I remember those things. I'm not going near those. Let's uh, let's do a quick save. Can you just imagine if I just went up to this guy and stealth take down him? Yeah, but obviously that didn't work.